Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here back with another episode. We're here CES 2018, a bit backstage checking out NVIDIA GeForce Now. Big shout outs to them for sponsoring this episode. And if you remember a couple months ago, back in 2017, I took a look at their service running over on my Mac and you can essentially stream and get from the cloud a higher end graphics card. So you can play games on devices like my Mac that I couldn't even play before. You can run games on low lower end PCs that just don't have those specs. So let's take a look what they've got set up behind me and hopefully some of you get some pretty sweet ideas on how to game better. Let's take a look. So if you remember back on my MacBook Pro, I was rocking StarCraft 2. Even though it's a $4,000 computer, I could only run that at medium-ish settings. With GeForce Now, I was running everything on Ultra and playing games that, as I said, I couldn't even play before. Right now, we've got some new additions. We can play Ubisoft games. We've got Rainbow Six Siege. Let's go muck some terrorists and hopefully not die. So we're getting around high to ultra settings, getting 60 frames per second. Everything is nice and smooth. I'm getting some kills. And the best thing is I'm not lagging. I think one cool thing that they've got set up, they grabbed a $200 PC and it's rocking in purple and we are getting some very decent gameplay in. Once again, for 200 bucks, you could never think of playing what games we've got installed. We are running the same game, Rainbow Six Siege, and we're getting very decent frame rates for 200 bucks for a laptop. People are usually paying that kind of money just for a graphics card. So beside the $200 laptop, we actually have a work setup. So hopefully my boss never watches this video, you can just grab a PC that you're using for work, run GeForce Now, and this one in fact is running at 120 frames per second, which proves I'm hoping that I'm not getting anyone fired out there. You can grab a PC that you have, install GeForce Now and Rock Games at way higher settings. And once again, no one needs to get fired here, please. This one is running Epic's Fortnite. I am honestly not the greatest at this game, but hey, I'm making do with what I got. A pickaxe. <laughs> Just like yeah. mow guys down. It's yeah. like, I wish I had the gun, but I don't. <laughs> Good thing you got the pens. <laughs> <laughs> So behind me, we have a bit of a test. We're rocking a $400 laptop. We're rocking the same game, PUBG. Everyone loves to play it. One, of course, is just running GeForce Now. The other one is not. On the one that's just running stock, we are getting an astounding two frames per second. So unless you like to play with a cheese grater, Nick, maybe that'll help you get some kills. That's my kind of game. <laughs> it's almost unbearable playing. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Not even you, Nick. <laughs> and the one that's rocking GeForce now, we're on high settings getting 60 frames per second. And this one, Nick, I could absolutely guarantee that and pass that on to you. Beauty. Please do well. I'll do my best. He's gonna do okay. They've got this little chart for all the games that we've tested, Fortnite, rocking 120 FPS on GeForce Now, and a nice, not cheese grater-ish, 20 FPS regularly. Rainbow Six Siege, 90 FPS compared to seven. PUBG, we just tried that out, 60 FPS to the astounding two. And Ark Survival, 60 FPS to cheese grater level four. I think the point is clear, get GeForce Now. And that has been my gaming experience so far at CES 2018. This was NVIDIA GeForce Now. You can grab it for free, still in beta mode. I will leave links down below where you guys can go check it out, download it, maybe play some PUBG, maybe play Nick. He'll be playing on maybe the slow computer. I'll be playing on the half decent one. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I hope to catch you guys in the rest of my CES footage. I'll catch you guys then. Peace.